guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Holston on the Money in Phoenix channel. So this is actually a YouTube video tutorial request from my friend Jason, who said he had a really hard time trying to get his PS2 USB controller to work on his computer for Portal 2. I will show you how to use that method or to take any USB PC controller, emulate Xbox 360 controller to play with Portal 2. If you go to the more info section, I should have a link where you can go to the mystery um, block blog article that I wrote that has a link to an older version of the X360 CE app. This is what I'm using. Works out well. If links are ever broken, let me know in the future and I will re upload the file. So, what you want to do is get the older version because the newest version just crashes with this game for whatever reason. I don't know why. But get the old version, extract that X360 CE into your Portal 2 folder. So, let's go ahead and run it real quick here. And if you guys are curious what my PS2 controller looks like, go ahead and take a look in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and you can see a little video of my PS2 controller connected to my twin USB adapter. So what I just did in the last uh, couple seconds here was I go, I went through and I let the program go ahead and configure the DLL file and as well as create the .ini file required for the X360 CE emulator. And now it is in progress of looking for local settings as well as online settings for my adapter here. So let's go ahead and do that since it has one controller port and a second controller port as well. So we click on finish. We're good to go. Excellent. Let's go to controller one. And we see that A, B, X, Y, all my buttons work. Analogs, but the D-pad is not working. Don't worry. Go to D-pad here. Go to D-pad. Select D-pad one. And... And yeah, we got it working. Awesome. And you click on save. Now, there's one more trick that you got to do, guys. And if you go into the bin folder, scroll all the way down to this X input one underscore three, either delete it or just rename it. I'm going to call it Orridge. Because if you leave that file in there, see we have this file in here. The reason you rename it or delete it is because if you leave it alone, untouched, when you try to play your game, your controls are all screwed up and it doesn't match the default Xbox 360 configuration. So now, let's go ahead and jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial. Alright, here we are at the main menu of Portal 2, so let's do this. If you go to options, your controller should automatically be um, detected and configured. If not, make sure your controller is enabled. If you want to change your button layout, go ahead, change your layout as you want to do it. Now, let's go back. I want to go ahead and start a game, single player, and let's go ahead and continue my game. So I'll show you proof that, yeah, this does work. PS2 controller using my twin USB adapter. I'll show you that the analogs work, the buttons work, that everything is working as I would expect it to do. So here I am, and ready to run. Let's turn on the analog, and here we go. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth jazz will so be let's go ahead and shoot a portal three, right two, about here. Yeah! One. Let's go pick it up. Press my uh, square. Dump it. And we're good to go. So we can clearly see, guys, that yeah, this does work. See, here's my right analog. My guy is moving. Here's my jumping. Um, here's the blue portal. And the orange portal is right up there. So let's go ahead and go up there. Oh, crap. And there you have it. So we can clearly see that, yeah, this does work. This is not a BS tutorial, and my controller is working, controlling my character in this particular map here. If you have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.